It was a stunning scene that witnesses captured on camera. I saw the shots coming out of the van into the actual main door of the station. A man in an armored Ford van unleashing semi-automatic fire on Dallas police headquarters just after midnight. It's, it's very scary, man. I, I didn't expect this in, in Dallas. Listen closely to a bullet whiz by this witness. Seconds later, watch this. The driver of that van rams a patrol car as two officers taking cover behind it retreat. They were sitting ducks for the van. I mean, I am surprised he didn't get shot. That suspect then backs up and takes off as other police pursue. Some officers say we're very lucky. Uh, I believe we're blessed that officers survive this ordeal. But the threat didn't subside. But, uh, Hours later, a pipe bomb detonated in a police parking lot. Officers closed blocks around their headquarters, looking for more explosives. Police bringing out AR-15s, uncertain what might happen next. There are bullet holes uh, in squad cars where officers were sitting. There are bullet holes in the front lobby where our staff was sitting. And uh, one staff member had just walked away to get a coke. Saturday afternoon, we got our first up close look at the aftermath. Bullets pierced the first and second floor glass, the information desk and records window on the back wall. Even a block away, more markers on the streets indicate bullet casings. This patrol car had two officers in it. Miraculously, neither were hurt. SWAT snipers killed the suspect, a 35 year old named James Bolware, apparently upset over a custody issue. From what it looks like, no one got hurt. And that might be most remarkable, a brazen and violent overnight attack caught on camera that everyone survived. Chief Brown said it raises the hair on the back of your neck to think what might have happened here. The department says there will likely be no new information coming out this afternoon and this evening. Expect new information on the investigation to come out tomorrow from Dallas police. Chief Brown went on to say the assault here at police headquarters happened despite the department spending $300,000 to improve security at headquarters, now forcing the department and the city to rethink what it needs to do to protect police.